Hey, hey, it's Claire again, and I'm here with Kai Tours. Today, we're in Puerto Morelos. Um, this is the perfect tour for anyone who loves to be in the water. It's a great family tour, or for groups of friends even, too. So, first things first, we're gonna go and check out the reef. Now, the reef here in Puerto Morelos is incredible. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's the best snorkeling around this area, as far as I'm concerned. The reef is super shallow. There's loads of sea life there. It's a really great place to come snorkeling. So after we've been snorkeling, we're gonna head over to the Ruta de los Cenotes, where we get to check out three different cenotes. The first one is gonna be an open cenote, where we can go snorkeling and see some of the formations underneath the water. The second, we're gonna do some zip lining. Uh, jumping in, doing some crazy stuff. And the third one is a cavern. So we get to experience all three different cenotes in the same place. And then we're gonna go for lunch. Hello, welcome to Puerto Morelos, guys. Uh, as you can see, we have a pretty flat ocean today. I think the conditions are going to be awesome. Uh, right now we're going to meet our captain, Mr. Chalo and guide. We will go that way. Yeah, it's around uh, five minutes right in the boat, okay? Once there, we're going to find the coral formations, okay? We have lobsters here, we have turtles here, uh, snappers, groupers, rays. Yeah, there is a lot, a lot of things to do. Uh, Chalo is going to be leading the group. I will be closing the group. Yeah, I will be doing some photos also for you. Okay, good, perfecto. We just finished the sea snorkeling part of the tour here in Puerto Morelos. It was amazing. We saw a baby turtle. It's probably the smallest turtle I've ever seen, apart from the, the ones when they first hatch. Uh, what else did we see? We saw an eagle ray. We saw some stingrays, porcupine fish, angel fish, so many fish. Um, and there's incredible coral formations here in Puerto Morelos, which is one of the best things about snorkeling here. So now we're gonna head to Cenote Zapote to check out three different cenotes. So let's go. So guys, this is Cenote Las Palmas, okay, it's the first cenote we're going to visit in the park. Uh, we have a kind of things to do here, if you want to jump here, you can jump and do a swim all around, it's pretty beautiful, we have palm trees all around the place. And the other is that line that you can see on top of there, yeah, we will be flying, yeah, and in some point you just need to let go and you will land in the water, okay. I will be waiting for you in the other side to do some nice photos of you in there, alright, perfecto. Oh. Muy 
bien, guys, so uh, this is the next cenote we're going to visit. This is the cenote Zapote, okay? The name of the park is Zapote because of this cenote. Here we have 10 meters, yeah, of a little cliff, yeah? Then the pit is entering here, yeah? And at 30 meters we can find these structures, stalactites, okay? The hellbells is the name of the stalactites. And if you keep going, all the cenote goes to the 55 meters. And here is where they find the sloth, okay? Yeah, the bones of the sloth. That uh, is in the Anthropology Museum of Mexico City right now. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Yeah, but they found uh, this here, okay? They say then it's older than 10,000 years, all right? So it's been here for a long time, yeah? The bones were perfectly preserved because of the water of the cenote, okay? And in here we can do two things. We can go down to the stairs, yeah? There are small cliff jumps to go in the water or there is a big one, okay? I will show you in a minute, all right? So let's enjoy, all right? This tour is perfect for families and groups of friends who want to have a really fun day out and love the water. You get to snorkel on the reef, we saw turtles, tons of marine life, and then we came here to the eco park, there's zip lines, there's jumping in cenotes, there's snorkeling, like it's a perfect family day out. Under So guys, remembering that ecotourism is all about being conscious of the environment that you're in and doing your best to respect the nature and to protect it. So whether that's making sure that you're not wearing sunscreen when you're going swimming in a cenote or making sure the mosquito repellent that you're using isn't going to do any harm to the environment. It's just about thinking through your actions and doing your very best to protect the nature. So now it's time to have some lunch. You may not know me, but I know your love. It's around me, under and above. You may not know me, but I want you close. Well guys, here we are in Cenote Zapote, yeah, in Puerto Morelos. This is one of the most important cenotes in the area because they found this guy here, yeah, sloth bones, yeah, from many, many years ago. And we also can find here the hellbells. They are called the hellbells, yeah, those are stalactites. Uh, they was formed uh, millions of years ago and we can find them only in this place. Uh, in this kind of cenotes, they also find uh, mammoth bones, uh, cyber tooth, uh, tiger bones, and human bones, uh, all pretty well conserved because of the fresh water of the cenotes. So, again, this is one of the most important places around the area. So, now we're going to go down. underground, the stalactites and stalagmites in here, the water is crystal clear. So 
that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for coming with us today to Puerto Morelos with Kaitos. See you next time.